Today we're doing a battle. Hey guys, so this is Today we are playing Clash of Clans, but this time the war has started. Yes, we have our system right here. Oh, I'm so nervous. Hold on, hold on. Let me give some detail there. Okay, that's good. It is super loud, not gonna lie. Hopefully I can hear it well. Oh my god, it's so loud. It's super loud. Let's see if I can do this though. I'm not sure if that's possible, but then again, I'm just too lazy on video editing, man. <laughs> I lost my motivation. Very sorry, guys. Yeah, but is it possible, like, if you shoot in the middle, two air defenses die? Is it possible, though? Is it any possible? Let's find out. Oh! <gasps> wait, wait, I didn't take my another sp lightning spell. Oh my god. Oh my god, oh my god. How could I forget? <laughs> It's still... <laughs> yeah, I got a donation troop. And hopefully I get another balloon and a dragon. Yeah, I'm gonna actually donate a Mostly I can donate anything I like. And I, I have to donate them. Because this is an active donation clan. So you can join even if you really like. I have a feeling that the dragon's gonna come there too. The dragons will form and then... Massive problem can happen. Let's attack. I have to kill the dragon first. The CC troop dragon. I believe there's a dragon in it. I believe. Three, two, one. Yes, we did it. Yes, three star hole. That was tough. My eyes are heating too. My mom came apparently there. That's why I had to cut the video. And I have to do it all over again. Thank you guys. I also have four builder, so I have nothing to worry about. Except, I have to get the balloon, you know, to level 5. I have a P.E.K.K.A. level 3 maxed. And hopefully that saves me for Town Hall 8. I don't know, it doesn't make sense. Either I get killed by... Anyways, this is the Town Hall 9 I was talking about. Really? Level 2 golem, are you serious? Bro, upgrade your golem, it's useful. Except Valkyrie, you can use Valkyrie whoever likes. Whoever is very strong yet using Valkyrie, I'm gonna say they need it, they deserve it. Well, I don't deserve most of the things like having Valkyrie is because I got 2 star on a town hall level 6. <laughs> it's even level 2. Remember, level, like Valkyries are very hard to get killed, like very very difficult. And they still died. <laughs> it's so stupid, man. It's so stupid. I mean, in level 2 Valkyrie. I mean, look at his health. 800 health. 106 damage. And I still died. Man, I hate my life. 
<laughs> oh no. This was a horrible. But I killed yeah, using these troops. Yeah, I remember this one. That was the best moment. Yeah, max upgraded Tunnel 8 using 17 wizards, 2 Pekka, 1 golem, and 2 archers with 5 lightning spells, by level 5, 7 of them, and level 10 barbarian king, and this is how I do it. At that time I didn't have the earthquake because my dark spell factory was an upgrade, and this is what I did as a strategy for especially weak ground attack units. You know, ground troops are have a very high weakness, especially in cannons, because the cannon does more damage. And you know, Barbarian King is a ground troop, so what do you expect to be honest? And the Pekka too. Pekka takes a lot of damage, especially with like tons of cannons. Uh, it takes a lot of damage, like decent, but it can be also lethal. As an example, I put a golem at first, at that corner I think. Come on. <laughs> Nope, barbarian. And then a Pause. Uh, what am I supposed to do is to break the electric, which is a collector. And then I want to break the barracks. Then I want to put in the troops because it just sort of goes through in, not out. <laughs> tough one too, it was a very hard one. And I think I attacked another one. I think it's town hall level 10. I think it's a TH10 I think. Hold on. Um, let's see, where is that? Where it might be? Hold on. I think I like 3 star or just a star? Hold on, let me just replay. I'm not sure, I think it was a TH10. Yeah, there it is. It's in kind of a noob type. I know that's stupid, but still insane tower level 10 noob edition uh, <laughs> interesting but then again i did a 99 percent kill which is i think where is that? i think i did 99 well there was one air sweeper there yes this one it was a bit frustrating at the time uh, this was my first th10 map nope oops no wrong one <laughs> Stupidly wrong one, come on. I, s I saw it somewhere. The yes, that was attack log, not a defense one, it was attack log. Uh, I think it's this one. Yes, there it is. There it is, guys. There it is. Look at that! TH. And also guys, um, I'm not sure this loop type, like uh, upgrading every single town hall, meanwhile not upgrading our air defenses. I'm not sure this 
a good thing. I wouldn't say it's a bad thing, obviously. But I think that's a bad type of things you should not do your base like this. <laughs> Holy shit, the Inferno Drag Inferno Tower doesn't take any damage. Yeah. I started from the Inferno Dragon in what the, the Inferno Dragon. And then it didn't work because you know there's some distractions there in which protects the Inferno Tower for a very temporary bit of a time and in which my all of my dragons died. It was very sad. Sweeper was like, and it was half damaged. Look at this, and then it lost. <laughs> so frustrating, man. So frustrating. Hmm, disappointment, guys. Now. I'm not sure if I win this this one, but just trust me, I feel like this is the easiest one out of everything. With just some um, one of those distraction bases, in which I hate the most. These shit <laughs> distraction bases. And I hate it the most because these distraction bases are really really hard to control and attack because it wastes a lot of time. Yeah, it has a lot of issue. Like, what type of base is this, man? Do you have a town of 14? Hold on, what are your upgrades? Okay, so he's just like me. He doesn't do not even want to upgrade a Valkyrie at all. Which is a good. I'm not sure upgrading wizard is kinda of worth a money because I you know I use ground troops using wizards. And it works very nice because wizard does a lot of damage, just like cannon card. And wait what? I don't know, how is our CO leader is? Okay, so TH9, okay. Hmm, he seems a bit prepared. Except the Pekas isn't updated. The Archer Queen is maxed, but they're not the Barbarian King. It doesn't make sense. The Barbarian King is better than Archer Queen, not gonna lie. And there's also another one with a bit slightly more prepared. I mean, he likes upgrading his troops a lot, it seems like. But then again, mm, the lightning, lightning spell is trash. The earthquake spell is good. I'm not gonna lie, I use it a lot often because it breaks walls more than just a wall breaker. Ah, I'm worried. <laughs> Let's go to a warlock. Let's see. Mostly we win 18 times and lost 19 times. Hmm. We lost a lot of times, you know. Yeah, but we still lost this to some percentage. I mean, look at this. Yeah, hold on. I think yeah, we win this one. Yeah, this is not this is the one that I win when like the election uh, COC uh, CO leader competition. Yeah, I remember this one. I couldn't show the video because you know it was too cringy, obviously. Uh, this is a video about a war lead, like which one is the best CEO leader at war. I did 2% or like 3% more than the uh, other person that I did. Uh, <laughs> we win. We win the war. Amazingly. We did not lose it. We win. So amazing. Good memories. Good memories, guys. 
this is the, the how much we lose when when what's it called and this is when we lose especially when I was first came like when I was first promoted being elder I think this is like 20 37 days I think this is almost our year which is quite a lethal amount of days to be honest I lost so many times for our teammates <laughs> We lost so many times when I was elder at first. Then I was got demoted by my leader. That was for a good reason. Don't judge me and don't ask for my leader. That was for a good reason actually. And then I was struggling so hard, trying its best to win. And then we win so many wars, so many wars. So unbelievable, guys! Unbelievable. Another call, another call. Don Vi. Um, I did two star because I ran out of time because that distraction race was insane. And you ask who did one star on me? Number four, obviously. And as you can see right there, uh, number four, which our clan member, I did 84 87%, especially the enemy damage to our clan, our town halls. And for this one, however, it's 94% because I made a trash stupid type of base in which it somehow protected the town hall their de defenses were all gone like unexisted meanwhile the distraction saved it all man so an example is here and also um he's at th9 uh it's kind of odd you know i don't use poison spell but for other people's they might have some worth of living with it but just trust me, I don't use Archer Queen that much. I use I don't use I don't even use balloons at all. I use the heavy hitters or the hot stuff. As this is an example for my base. This is one of the most trash base of all time. Useless base. <laughs> and it's almost survived. <laughs> Due to the way I that I make, man. Wait, 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 wait. Who said all this to ground? Wait, what? <laughs> Who said this all of this in the ground? I don't know. I did not set this to ground. I set it to air. Um, or I'm just being crazy right now. I remember I s I remember I said it to air. This one. Okay. And also, uh, trust me, w witches are very overkilled, to be honest. They're very annoying, especially for higher end troops. Poison spell. that I was shouting um that was my mom because my mom was shouting at me too and I was being a bit frustrated so I need to eat fruits the frustrating part is that why how many balloons that it died it's even level six and this is the most trashed air defense defenses ever man come on 
Lightning spell is the help of joy, man. Did he just seriously didn't activate Archer Queen ability even with low health? She was like about to die and then they, there's an automatic chaotic system like when you're like about to get KO'd which you, is you, just your Barbarian King or Archer Queen, Grand Water Royal Champion it has like automatic ability activation and that is, that sucks, that sucks and a lot too just trust me, it's horrible, it's horrible man. Stop, stop, stop and I also gotta realize too, like when the archer queen here just like uh, like activate her ability, I saw that that was like a level one archer. What? <laughs> or I'm just being crazy? Like there's no way. I mean, she up he upgraded his archer. Like there's no way. I, I think I'm being crazy right now. Like how? This is one of the most terrible base in the world, and this is what happens. <laughs> that attacked me has got demoted by his leader like there's no way there is no way hold on let me just go to the I mean who attacked me yeah this one this one I'm just scout I won't attack though because you know and his base is good look at this look at this trash attack but good base system <laughs> so cringy. Look, look at this trash. Uh, really? Oh. Look at this man. Level two Pekka. Level four Barbarian. Like you should upgrade a Barbarian. It's very important. I do as I always do. I even upgrade it. I want to even upgrade my Archer. But due to uh, elixir shortages, life is tough. But still, upgrading archer is important because you may get archer queen, so I guess it will be useful. I did upgrade the barbarian, which looks like a horn when I don't know why. But then again, yeah, also I kind of upgraded the spell, so I guess you're good haste spell. I think I need tunnel level 9. Okay. Then I guess I got a haste spell, I guess. Damage does only 14. Bro, in other countries in real life, this shit will do like a 1000% damage, man. <laughs> There's no way that does 14. How? Clash of Clans is unrealistic, man. I mean, what makes it realistic is the movement they make. It's quite realistic, man. Realistic enough. Meanwhile... The, the the damage system is absolute trash. I mean, what is this? Earthquake is just fourteen percent. Even a normal earthquake at Bangladesh will do like hundred. <laughs> like in like USA or America, it does more, more than fourteen, man. eighty or ninety percent. You're saying that does fourteen, huh? <laughs> if I like put an earthquake in Clash of Planet, it's terrible. Meanwhile, earthquake in real life. Earthquake spell in real life, man, this shit would do like 500% man. There is no way. It doesn't feel realistic. But then again, it's just a game after all. It's just a strategy game. You know those rage strategy games that they give you shitty damage to make you rage quit? Yeah. That, I think these are the games here, guys. But then again, they're quite fun. I don't know, like, yeah, and then this base. 
I did not make this by myself I just took from YouTube but this is handmade base this is this is the base that I might made by myself it is trash it is horrible I mean what is this base man it looks like cancer already even my senior CEO got disgusted by the looks of it <laughs> it looks so bad I mean it looks beautiful but again a defense is trash but then again just for beautifulness what do you expect and this is my collection base oh boy it looks interesting too and as you can see right there oh, not too much that this is the transformation man <laughs> one here level 10 this three are level 9 and these things level 8 but still upgrading it, it should be make <sighs> more sense and I want to upgrade the double, the, the double cannon just in case you know double cannon is good at tough troops like Pekka's but then again they're still not good enough to fight against Pekka you know Pekka does a lot of damage, it does a lot of health, it takes time but then again, it's all worth it. I don't even need to upgrade my barracks to get more pack of speed. But it takes so long. But then again, the golem takes so long. Way longer than before. 10 minutes. The odd part about it is that it does 40 damage per second, and when destroyed, it does 400 very odd I mean at the time I was upgrading these traps here it takes so long it takes like years man it takes years just to upgrade all of these traps so why not just spend some time today guys upgrade all of our traps I know this is stupid but still it's all worth it you know traps are like the most handy thing in the universe and look at this amazing zero gold wow I'm so rich <laughs> zero gold guys best in the universe yeah this is odd like what is all with these things And they're super expensive. What is this book? Of, like, look at this. Book of building, book of fighting, six fifty. Book of everything. What is this? Uh, no, I don't want to buy it. Oh my god, I don't want to buy it. I just want to look at the. Ah uh, my god. Oh my god, I'm just. Oh my. Go away. Go away from me, man. Did I just broke the game? No. No. I don't want to. Yes, okay. Okay, so what it is is... Look. No. Huh? No storage limits? What? Oh it's, oh, it's right here. Book of everything. Instantly finish any upgrade timer. It doesn't even make sense. I mean... What do you mean by that? I mean, I already have one. The Book of Runes and Elixir. A book of Runes. I have a Book of Spells. I have everything, you know? I mean, what's the problem, man? I mean, there's no point of that, you know? I don't want to spend gems. I have to upgrade all of the traps because, you know, traps are very handy. Okay, I think this is a tricky base. Let's start. Man, my PC is lagging. Oh no, it's not good. And when recording, it doesn't.
two star on a TH7. BH7, I think? I think that's BH7. Or BH8. I decided to do a two star on it. This is a solution that is competitive against other troops as is like these box type bases. And I would mostly use cannon cut and uh, this one, the bomber. Bombers are very important, even the builder base. Hopefully it's because these bases are tricky bases. These bases need some book of the trick.